A four-stroke, also four-cycle engine, is an internal combustion engine in which the piston completes four separate strokes while turning the crankshaft. A stroke refers to the full travel of the piston along the cylinder in either direction. The four separate strokes are termed first intake, also known as induction or suction. The stroke of the piston begins at top dead center and ends at bottom dead center. In this stroke, the intake valve must be in the open position while the pistons pulls an air fuel mixture into the cylinder by producing vacuum pressure into the cylinder throughout its downward motion. The piston is moving down as air is being sucked in by the downward motion against the piston. I really hope you found this course valuable. But either way, please leave a review and share your experience. If you have any question, please feel free to let me know. Second, compression. This stroke begins at bottom dead center, or just at the end of the suction stroke, and ends at top dead center. In this stroke, the piston compresses the air fuel mixture in preparation for ignition during the power stroke. Both the intake and exhaust valves are closed during this stage. Third, combustion, also known as power or ignition. This is the start of the second revolution of the four stroke cycle. At this point, the crankshaft has completed a full 360 degree revolution while the piston is at top dead center. So the compressed air fuel mixture is ignited by a spark plug in gasoline engines or by heat generated by high compression in diesel engines. Force filler returning the piston to PDC, this stroke produces mechanical work from the engine to turn the crankshaft. Fourth, and the last is exhaust. Also known as outlet. During the exhaust stroke, the piston once again returns from bottom dead center to top dead center while the exhaust valve is open. So this action expels the spent air fuel mixture through the exhaust valve. These four strokes can also be referred to as suck, squeeze, bang, blow respectively, which can be easier to remember. Four-stroke engines are the most common internal combustion engine designed for motorized vehicles. Being used in automobiles, trucks, light aircraft, and motorcycles. The major alternative design is the two-stroke cycle. These four strokes can also be preferred to as the suck, squeeze, bang, blow respectively, which can be easier to remember. Four-stroke engines are the most common internal combustion engine design for motorized vehicles, being used in automobiles, trucks, light aircraft, and motorcycles. The major alternative design is the two-stroke cycle. The thermodynamic analysis of the actual four-stroke and two-stroke cycle is not a simple task. However, the analysis can be simplified significantly if air standard assumptions are utilized. The resulting cycle, which closely resembles the actual operating conditions, is the Otto cycle. During normal operation of the engine, as the air fuel mixture is being compressed, an electric spark is created to ignite the mixture. At low RPM, this occurs close to the top dead center. As engine RPM raises, the speed of the flame front does not change so the spark point is advanced earlier in the cycle to allow a greater proportion of the cycle for the charge to combust before the power stroke commences.
This advantage is reflected in the various auto engine designs. The atmospheric not compression engine operates at 12% efficiency, whereas the compressed charge engine has operating efficiency around 30%. A problem with compressed charge engine is that the temperature rise of the compressed charge can cause pre-ignition. If this occurs at the wrong time and is too energetic, it can damage the engine. Different fractions of petroleum have wildly varying flash points, the temperatures at which the fuel may self-ignite. So this must be taken into account in engine and fuel design. The tendency for the compressed fuel mixture to ignite early is limited by the chemical composition of the fuel. There are several grades of fuel to accommodate different performance levels of engines. The fuel is altered to change its self-ignition temperature. There are several ways to do it. As engines are designed with higher compression ratios, the result is that the pre-ignition is much more likely to occur since the fuel mixture is compressed to a higher temperature prior to deliberate ignition. The higher temperature, more efficiency evaporates fuels such as gasoline, which increases the efficiency of the compression engines. Higher compression ratios also mean that the distance that the piston can push to produce power is greater, which is called expansion ratio. The octane rating of a given fuel is measure of the fuel resistance to self-ignition. A fuel with a higher numerical octane rating allows for a higher compression ratio, which extracts more energy from the fuel and more effectively converts that energy into useful work while at the same time preventing engine damage from pre-ignition. High octane fuel is also more expensive. Many modern four-stroke engines employ gasoline direct injection or GDI. In a gasoline direct injection engine, the injected nozzle protrudes into the combustion chamber. The direct fuel injector injects gasoline under a very high pressure into the cylinder during the compression stroke, when the piston is closer to the top. Diesel engines, by their nature, do not have concerns with pre-ignition. They have a concern with whether or not combustion can be started. The description of how likely diesel fuel is to ignite is called the setant rating. Because diesel fuel are low volatility, they can be very hard to start when cold. Various techniques are used to start cold diesel engine, the most common being the use of glow plaque.